smothered chicken and gravy over creamy mashed potatoes. This right here is special. This right here is special. I'm trying to inform you. It is jam packed with flavor. Your whole family is gonna love this one. And guess what? I'm about to show you how it's done. So let's get started. So we are going to begin with our potatoes as you can see here. I have my trusty potato peeler and I'm just going to go in and peel off the skin off each individual potato just like so. Once we have them peeled, you want to go ahead and cube them up as you see me doing here and you could go ahead and get a pot of water going in the background get it to a rolling boil ready to toss these bad boys in there so as you can see here my water is ready to go i am gonna toss in my potatoes and I'm also gonna sprinkle in a little bit of salt, just a little bit, okay? And you wanna let these go for about, I would say 10 to 15 minutes. A trick to make sure they're done is, you know, take a fork, stick it in one of the potatoes. Um, should be very, very easy to just go right through that potato. Shouldn't be tough at all. Should be, you know, fairly soft. And now we have our chicken. We have four thighs and four drumsticks ready to go. I drizzle a little bit of olive oil on these bad boys and we are going in and giving them a luxurious massage as we always do, all right? Once we have that taken care of, we're gonna bring out our trusty all-purpose seasoning, which consists of everything that you see on the screen here. Go ahead and be generous. Go ham, go crazy. Do not be stingy with the seasoning, all right? Make sure the chicken is well coated up. So here I have my pan to about, I would say a medium to medium high. I drizzled a little bit of oil in there and I am gonna drop my chicken in. And what I'm doing here is not actually looking to fully cook my chicken. I just want a little bit of color if you know what I mean, all right? So kinda, you know, get a beautiful browning on each side of the chicken here. You know what I'm saying? And once you do that, you wanna go ahead and remove all your chicken from the pan. And we are gonna move on to the next step. And I guess I didn't have enough oil in the pan, so you can see I'm, I'm burning a little bit as far as the pan itself, but our chicken is looking great. And obviously you can see, I couldn't fit all of the chicken in there, so I put two of them to the side for me to kinda of sear off as soon as I got these out the way. So our chicken is taken care of fully, all right? So I went ahead and cleaned off my pan cause it's, you know, got a little burnt up. If your pan is looking good and you ain't have your temperature too high, you could keep rocking and rolling without cleaning out that pan. Uh, but I did add some oil and I'm dropping in about a cup of mixed veggies as well as one small onion sliced up. And you wanna go ahead and toss that around for about, I would say uh, two minutes or so. Once we reach that point, you want to drop in about half a stick of unsalted butter and you want to make sure that butter is melted down 
by the way if i haven't mentioned already my heat is to about a medium okay now after our butter is fully melted i am dropping in about three tablespoons of all-purpose flour and you want to go ahead and mix that around you want that flour to kind of cook a little bit you don't want that raw doughy floury taste in your gravy okay so make sure all your flour is kind of mixed in and it's cooked down a little bit so after another minute has gone by your flour is cooked up you want to drop in about two cups of chicken broth and you want to get that to a rolling boil again you want to stay at that kind of medium heat okay And we are going to drop in our chicken that we had put off to the side. Go ahead and drop your chicken in. How beautiful is this? And we are going to then top off our pan once all of our chicken is in there. And you want to let it just simmer. Just let it do its thing. Don't bother it. Let it do its thing for an additional, I would say, 15 minutes or so or until your chicken has reached the internal temperature of 165. That's how you know it is fully cooked. So after the time is up, your chicken should be looking like this. And I'm gonna hit you with the slow-mo right quick, you feel me? Cause this is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at this right here, amazing. Moving on, I'm gonna set my chicken to the side. It's already cooked and our potatoes are pretty much cooked as well. I have myself about a quarter cup of heavy cream and two tablespoons of unsalted butter. I personally use a little bit more heavy cream than I mentioned there. I use about half a cup of heavy cream, but that's because I like my mashed potatoes super, super creamy, okay? Then I sprinkled in a little bit of pepper, all right? You wanna, you wanna season the taste here, okay? I sprinkled in a little bit of pepper. I sprinkled in a little bit of garlic powder and you wanna taste it and you know, sprinkle a little bit more as you need it, okay? Here we are, ready to plate up. You have your wonderful, fluffy, creamy mashed potatoes on your plate and go ahead and just drop that chicken with all of that wonderful gravy. Come on now, come on now. Look at this right here. This is beauty. This is the definition of beauty. If it ain't, I don't know what it is. I can't wait for you guys to try this one. Pressure, 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 absolutely pressure. All right, so much flavor, just an absolutely beautiful dish. Once you try it, make sure you double back in the comments. Let me know how you love it. I'll see you guys on the next video. Doses.